As he celebrated his first birthday, Jordan Daniels' friends, family, doctors, and nurses threw him another party. When you um, come off of treatment at St. Jude, they give you a party called a no more chemo party. At four months, Jordan was diagnosed with neuroblastoma, an aggressive form of cancer. Eight months after intensive chemotherapy, radiation, and surgery, he was in remission. Now, six years after his no more chemo party, Jordan is back at St. Jude for a checkup. Hi, Jordan. How are you today? Good. Good. You feeling okay? Lisa McGregor has been Jordan's doctor since his diagnosis. When we started the chemotherapy, the tumor actually, as it responded, it became more swollen before it shrunk. And when it became more swollen, it pressed on his spinal cord. And that's what's caused the problems that he has today with his legs not working. Dr. McGregor says she is inspired by Jordan's spirit. It is fabulous to work with these kids because they are so tough and they're so resilient. His life is not limited. Back in Tupelo at Thomas Street Elementary, Jordan is in a regular classroom. He takes part in extracurricular activities. and fundraisers like the bunny hop. He also gets physical therapy time. Now I want to see if you can walk down the red road. That's it. He can get out of his chair and he'll crawl around just like we walk around. He can crawl just as fast as we can walk. He loves to play, he loves to swim, he'll, he's so active and he's just a funny, funny, funny little boy. As part of long-term treatment, Jordan is learning about his medical history. Jordan doesn't remember what happened to him, I don't think. Do you remember ever being in this hospital? No, no, he doesn't remember that. Um, and so we've got to teach him what happened and then teach him what he can do to be the healthiest adult he can be. Jordan is a frequent visitor to the Bluff City. He comes here once a year for his regular cancer checkup at St. Jude. And then he's back throughout the year to visit with specialists to deal with a host of complications from his cancer, his surgery, and his treatments. Of course, we'll all be back in December along with 16,000 other people as we run the marathon. Running for Jordan in Memphis, I'm Allie Martin, WCBI News.